Somewhere in these hills, the Yeti lives. And I'm going after him. We are at base camp. Finally made it here for the first night. No sign of the Yeti, Bigfoot, whatever you choose to call it. Don't really have a name for it. All we know is five campers have lost their lives in these mountains. All that's been found are backpacks, remains. The only clue we have so far from the Geographical Society is just one bit of hair. And what we're doing is we're looking for something that goes along with this and matches up. It's getting cold. We're 8,000 feet. A lot of snow already. I'm hoping the other crew will show up. Because I'm here alone right now. Could be a long night. It's a beautiful day. They never showed up last night. So I'm gonna keep moving ahead. Hope they catch up with me today. Saw a herd of elk running pretty fast up the uh, trail a bit. I figured maybe they're running from the big Saskiati. So I'm gonna chase after them and see if maybe I can get, find something. Find out which direction they're running and try to go the opposite way because maybe that's where he's at. I don't know if he, you know, he's a predator on the, the elk out here also, not just campers. But that's what I'm aiming for right now. So I'm gonna move ahead, leave a note here for those guys. And, uh, just hope for the best. Beautiful day out here. Well, I followed the uh, elk track for about two miles. Haven't seen any, any sign of the uh, Yeti Squatch prints. I'm gonna keep going. It's getting, the snow is getting a little deep up here. I gotta keep going. Where we are right now is Hollywood movie monster legend Lon Chaney Jr.'s personal hiking cabin. It's just set way up in the mountains, really beautiful place. A little ironic though that it sits right in the center of the big Squatch Yeti's feeding ground. And Lon Chaney Jr., if he could come out of his grave, I'm sure he'd play that beast. But for now, the real danger lurks out here. Not in this cabin, not in the movie, but out here. It's up to me to find it. I may call it a night right here and hope the guys catch up with me. Jesus Christ, it's 2 a.m. Jimbo and Ed never showed up. It's cold. This thing is making weird noises. I know it's close. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to sleep. I'm a little frightened. Only one thing to do in a situation like this, really. And that is, got a cigarette. I don't like this. It's a pretty good cigarette though. We got some kind of major movement <coughs> going on over here across this lake. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to move in a little closer. Where are you, you clever son of a bitch? Where'd he go? Could be a bear. Jesus, I'm sinking in snow. Could be a bear. Could be the Yeti. What I saw across the lake could have been an elk, could have been a deer, could have been big Yeti squash, I don't know. One cigarette left, 
get me through the rest of this trip. Better savor this one. What the f Oh my god. As you can see by the fresh snow, doing any more tracking is going to be virtually impossible. Got some tragic news this morning. A ranger approached me, let me know that they had found Jimbo and Ed, found their remains back at the first campsite I was at. That really sucks. They had my cigarettes. I don't know what to do now. I heard the thing last night numerous times right here and I'm looking for tracks but there's nothing. Just wish me luck getting out of here. As you know, I'm out here on the search for the uh, big Squatch Yeti that's been eating hikers lately, and I'm um, just curious, you feel safe being out here at this time? Oh, I feel safe, pretty safe in your country, yes. I, don't think, I can't believe it's a big Squatch yet, Yeti around. What is your take on it? Well, I guess they're, they're um, kind of mammoths uh, with big claws, uh, but I guess they don't eat, eat, but, uh, eat uh, humans. Well, there's been five hikers found so far. And Golly, five I hikers eaten. Well, that must be a real story. You'll be famous. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good hike and please be safe. I will. I'll try. Why they don't ever listen, I don't know. God be with him. Made it back to this cabin. I'm out of food. Looks like the rangers cleaned up everything pretty good. There's nothing here. No footprints, no tracks. I just walked three and a half hours through thigh deep snow. I have no food. Three days for the road. I can't leave. I gotta find it. I gotta find him before he finds me or hurts anybody else. And I gotta find cigarettes. Hello. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. Fire's still smoking. Get gears everywhere. I don't know if I want to look in this tent. Oh my god, what is that? Human foot? Oh Jesus Christ. Whoa! Sweet! Oh hell yes! I'm alive. Thank God for a cigarette. Oh. Where's my lighter? There's something else here. Look real close. You see right here and back over here. There's hair and I'm sure that it matches up with what we found before. God, I'm hungry. Okay, this, this might be wrong, but I stripped a uh, chunk of meat off the foot about this big. I'm only going to eat it if it's a necessity. I don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> 